I'm just incriminating everyone. Yeah, no, I'm like, will you shut the fuck? Welcome to Lightweight's Podcast. My name's Joe. Please welcome Carly and Aaron, sisters. Or are they lovers? All right, Joe, you can open your eyes. <laughs> it looks haunted. It looks like a horror movie. You've seen them before on my channel. You've seen me on their channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. I want to hit it by the end of the month. Let me know who else you want to see on the podcast. That's when we're stopping. Two, uh, two more. <laughs> <laughs> two more weeks. <laughs> so you guys are done after this. We yeah. only had 150 episodes. So kick back, relax, and enjoy Carly and Eric Gilfoy. Okay. All right, I'm ready to go. Do you think he looks like Eminem? Um, I think that you look like you are trying to like sell me a car at <laughs> Enterprise. Well, this is Eminem's exact outfit. It's his exact hat. So do you think Eminem is an Enterprise That's his worker? exact hat? Yeah. Also, you don't buy cars at Enterprise. You rent them. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. CarMax. No, I meant Enterprise. Like, okay. Like you trying look like an car. Enterprise employee right now. You're lucky I don't go after you. What's this voice? Eminem. <laughs> you, you can work on that one a little bit. <laughs> I, You're lucky I don't go after you. <laughs> but yeah, I just got this hat. Pretty sick, huh? Is that his actual hat? Are you going to wear that out, outside? <laughs> Why do you look disgruntled? You, sh you should with sunglasses and be like, oh my God, don't uh, no one look at me. That'd yeah. be so cool for you guys. Make it look like you guys are hanging out with Eminem. I'm scarred by Ashley. I don't think that's a good Who's idea. Who's Ashley? Who's Ashley? You know Ashley. Oh, don't even oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift Ashley. Ashley. Do you are you guys girl? sisters? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. Are you guys on the same cycle? <laughs> yeah. Not right now. Dude, we can check mine. <laughs> Yo, did you oh, get- Oh, it's 11, 11, make a wish. <gasps> oh. Did you get sick from eating a snail? Yeah, how did you know that? You put it on your podcast. <laughs> you listen to that? <laughs> did you listen to every single one of our podcast episodes? He's obsessed. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, it's like I'm meeting my heroes. They're like hours long. You guys put out so much content. What was, what was the title of the episode? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Literally yesterday we recorded. Oh, it's, well, it's on out. That one's on out yet, so he wouldn't know. Oh, we talked about it last week because we recorded last week. Oh, after oh. you vomited yeah. from the snail. Yeah. Would you eat that you got food poisoning? No, it's not food poisoning. I have a food intolerance to shellfish. And you didn't know that? No, I did know that, but I've had snails before and it's been fine. It's become like a trial and error of what I can and cannot have. I also didn't really know that a snail was a shellfish. <laughs> I assumed it was just a bug. A yeah. bug. <laughs> it's a bird. It's, it's really weird. It's like dinosaur. good influences, the effect it has on our actual lives. We talked about. It's scary. Because Carly was, she brought it up on the podcast because she uses snail mucin on her face. And she was like, oh my God, Erin, I heard that if you have like a shellfish allergy, you can, your It'll face break out. can break out. And I was like, if har, 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 like snails aren't shellfish. <laughs> and then we were just like, your last four brain cells. Uh, yeah, trying well, to figure it out. Basically me and Aaron, but they're, Matt was like, it is a, a, a shellfish. And Aaron's like, wait, what? Well, like, it's it? not in the sea. Yeah, you're like, he's, he's like, like, there are snails, snails in the sea. <laughs> so. It's just like something that you don't, like the only place I ever see, and then I was like, oh yeah, duh, like there are snails on the beach. But like, you think of them more like on a plant. Right. Yeah, like on the sidewalk Pavement. were you throwing up from it oh yeah oh out of my mouth and my butt no yeah photos no Why? i asked her if she recorded herself throwing up but she didn't because mike did that one mike time has filmed himself throw up before to see what he looked like that's i kind of want to try next time. i should have done that yesterday so and i threw up yesterday but for no reason i feel like you probably didn't have enough time i didn't i was literally pooping and i was like oh my god i'm gonna throw up i'm gonna throw up i'm gonna throw up and then i was like oh god i gotta finish so i finished really fast and threw up as soon as the water came back up and thank god i had cleaned the toilet the day before oh sparkling clean tis the season when, oh. when we were talking the other day i feel like your vocabulary is so different than mine you talk about all these different medicines that i don't know what they are like, like what? what you have like a thousand milligrams of something and oh you're vitamin like, d yeah, but then you were taking something else because that's what there was so much of. If you take vitamin D with Prozac, it helps the Prozac more. So I started taking it with it. Is right. Weren't you, weren't you taking like 10,000 milligrams? Yeah, I was taking 10,000. I think they're called like IUs. I don't know what it is, like some unit. And you're supposed to take like three to 5,000. So I've been taking 10,000 a day. So Double I got, the dose. Yeah, I got my blood work done and the vitamin D was crazy high. And I was like, oopsie. And it can cause stuff. Like it can harm you if you take too much, but whatever and you changed it now well yeah i don't take it now i don't now even she's go withdrawing and that's why she got sick <laughs> yeah yeah we were joking that i threw up yesterday because i was withdrawing from vitamin d today's episode is sponsored by zinn if you're looking for muscle recovery after a hard workout relief from a night out or battling some kind of inflammation from ibs or other autoimmune diseases then you need this drink zinn drinks contain turmeric and if you aren't familiar with this orange spice found in a lot of indian food you should be 
Turmeric has been used for thousands of years for its health benefits such as reducing inflammation, muscle recovery, and as a natural immunity boost. Zin's drink mix, which is right here, not only has added turmeric, but also contains your daily vitamins C, D, and zinc, plus electrolytes. And with how great it tastes, I am shocked that each stick pack only has 2 grams of sugar and 10 calories. There's no caffeine and you can still consume your daily fix of coffee and refresh with a Zin at any time in the day, whether it's be morning, noon, or night. Not only do they come in cans, but they come in the powder form. I put it in my drink after my workout and I feel so good and refreshed afterwards. I've been taking it for the past three months, so I'm really excited that we got to partner up today. And right now, because you guys are watching, if you use my code Joe, you get 15% off your order of Zin. Try the powder packs, try the cans. So if you're looking for a fast recovery tries in thank you guys so much for watching now back to the podcast did you guys watch the iHeartRadio? radio i didn't know you could watch it oh yeah it's it's on tv that shall what not channel mm, that shall not i don't know but it was on last night taylor won oh yeah she won artist of the year she won artist of the year pop artist awards? i don't know and tiktok bop TikTok, TikTok bop. bop. Yeah. Did they have a TikTok shop section because i'd love to know what would win that is that a store the now alex earl mirror Ooh, that's a good or one. The light. The light, whatever it's it is. It's got to be the, the TikTok shop of the year award would go to the Alex or Light or the American flag sweater. <laughs> Do oh, that one the ever? pickle sweater. Oh, the that. pickle sweater. Oh, I only get pop darts. Pop, pop tarts? tarts? Darts, darts. You throw them. It's oh. almost like, uh, <laughs> what's that thing? Well, that's like your vibe. <laughs> yeah, it is pop my vibe. Darts. Barbecue back, backyard dad type of stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Did you guys do anything for Easter? I rotted. No, no one. I got each other little Easter baskets. And that's it. That was so sweet. What'd you guys get? And he made deviled eggs, and they were so good. Um, he got. Why me, are you gasping? <laughs> he got me some fast. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, she means he got her slim He fast. got me slim fast, he's and like, I got him a toothbrush. Too yeah, no, literally, like he's like, you need to lose weight now, bitch. No, I'm kidding. I don't want Nolan to be looked at in a negative light because he would probably have a massive panic attack if that <laughs> came out, like a clip. <laughs> I cut um, that part. I no, he no. told teachers like Carly's like taking slim fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like it because okay, here's why is because we. Like for the past couple of years, we were just like joking how as kids we would slam slim fast like at home because our parents just had it. And you they didn't were, know what it was for. Well, no, I, I knew it was like some like diet thing, but it tasted so good. They had, like, you, oh, sorry. They had like strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Only had chocolate, um, but I would down them, and they still taste. It still tastes exactly the same. So, like, kind of as an inside joke, he he got me other stuff, but he also got me a thing of slim fast. But I like it because now the past couple of days I eat oatmeal in the morning, and then I also have a slim fast, and then I get more full. It's supposed to be like a meal replacement, but I can't replace a meal with a drink. So. You gotta get like a a nice like protein. I have protein drink. powder. Yeah, but slim fast is like is nostalgic. Slim fast, for me. Would you think? Would you say it's like a Midwest thing? Yeah, it's not out here, but my mom, I feel like my mom used to take it. Yeah. It was like back east type yeah. of thing. Also when like body image was terrible. Oh, people yeah. People were like for real replacing their meals with like some fast, which I feel like is probably not a good idea. Maybe what like is once it? in a while, but. Is it just low calorie? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. It's just a ton of protein, I guess. I it tended it. to be a meal replacement. Yeah. Can you bring the mic a little closer to you? Sick. Did you do anything for Easter? Yeah, I went to a Dodger game. Oh, I got I a foul ball. Saturday. Did you? Yeah, I got, it rained though, and then when the rain delay happened, I left. Are you a Dodgers girly? No. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like I've never seen. She's you offended. By it was the cool Dodgers though. Team. I was like, I would like to. I'll go back. You should. It's a fun vibe. Yeah. Where'd you sit? I have no idea. There's a section in the stadium where it's like unlimited food, and they bring you. We did oh. that one time, and then TJ got sick the whole night. Oh. Yeah, I'm only. That was my third game, what and you I eat probably was there for like an inning. No, just like a lot of Dodger dogs, because oh. it's all you can eat. What's new with TJ? Um, well, he he finished his DJ classes. Your world famous DJ husband. Yeah, finished. my husband who's played every major music festival: Coachella, Lala, Bonnaroo, um, like EDC. Has a monthly sold out show <laughs> here in Hollywood. <laughs> Has had a residency in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, he... he went to school. Thank and finally, God. he learned how to DJ. We were like, "You need to get your ass to school, you piece of scum." What yeah. did he learn? How to DJ? Literally, like on Emo Nights bio, it's always been like, "Not a we're band, not DJs. not DJs." Like, we just throw a fun party. Um, so yeah, they've just been faking it the whole time. And now he graduated DJ school. I mean, it wasn't like they didn't actually graduate. He just completed a course, and then I threw like a 
funny like oh you graduated party uh-huh. but it's i was saying to carly like his dad <laughs> texted us the day after the party and was like you graduated from dj school like you don't tell us anything because it, like it's not it wasn't like it's a big like deal serious. like they just like completed a course <laughs> it'd be like if i did like pottery school for 10 weeks <laughs> you know we what a I graduation mean? party yeah <laughs> was anyone else in that class I think there was like five or six students in the class. Uh, yeah, Diplo was <laughs> Marshmallow was getting his yeah. brush up. No, just like Relax. young people who it's like a thing that they want to do. Is he friends with other DJs now? Um. Well, yeah, they've done like uh, like electronic festivals. Other DJs hate them. So they've met a few. Like they are friends with this guy called Kazo. I know they've done like a few events with him. Um. I don't know. Are What's- they friends with Diplo? Um, I don't think so. I don't think Diplo, but they meet like a lot of DJs. Is CJ going to like DJ DJ this week at Emo Night? I have no idea. He's probably like, not. so scared, probably. He I was feel like so it's just like a different too. vibe. Yeah. Like this is the kind of, That's like true. They Emo Night song. is just an event where you yeah, go and right, push play right. on a song. You're right. Is but anyone going to be there this weekend? Us. Like <laughs> musical artists? Yeah. Probably. You always ask and I never know. I want to know. I want to come. <laughs> I'll, I can ask him. Yeah, can you? I'll say Joe wants week? to know. Yeah. Come on Friday. The The theme is dream all night, so you just wear pajamas. Done. It's like a slumber party. Or just like a sweatsuit or something. Like, Let me be ask so comfy. him. I love sweats. I know. I'll say Joe wants to know who's coming on Friday. Who Who would you die for? Oh, he also started Tom a DeLong. podcast. Well, you, if, if Tom DeLonge was going, I would know. We would know, yeah. <laughs> it might be someone cool. I mean, they're always, like, cool guests, but a lot of them are repeats, so I've already done it, you know? Right, like 303. Oh, yeah, I love them. If they were coming, though, like, any time they come, I would be excited just because I love Nat and Sean. What did you guys think of Raising Canes the other day? <laughs> the other day? <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, last month. <laughs> like, months ago. Um, I thought it was... I thought the chicken was really good. Like I was impressed by the chicken. It did not taste like fast food chicken. Uh I thought it was really good. But other than that, it's like put more things on the menu. (laughs) It's only chicken. (laughs) I I loved the bread. Like I would go back for the bread. I I'm I don't really like the sauce they use because it's too peppery. It's so good. It's peppery. I don't like like it it, though. You could drink it. I'm just like not a pepper girl. (laughs) Did you hear we're going today? No. Do you have time after? Yeah, I'm not doing a damn thing. I'm free till June. and I'll be nine p.m. I had to starve myself this morning because I had to get blood drawn. I could have brought you some slim fast. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Well, I ordered a on my way home. I ordered a muffin can stop us to the house. I was Chorizo? like, I need it. Oh, slay! No, I just got the American. I want to go to BJ's. Oh, we're going to Burbank. That, well, I figured that Wait, was okay. Wait, are we going to eat at the restaurant? or do No, they... in the car, obviously. We're not oh. crazy. Okay. I figured because we went to In-N-Out in Burbank and it's right there. So I figured the drive would be okay. T- totally fine. But I wanted to get a pizookie, mm. a pizza, and monkey bread. What is monkey bread? Exactly. I've never had any Really? I think I have. I've never been to BJ's. <laughs> Neither have I. Oh, I thought you... I've only... There were BJ's in New Jersey, right? No, but like none. The... No, but like the Costco BJ's? Yes, the clothing yeah. store. I think it's a clothing store. It was like a Costco where I was. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Do you want to fight about it? That? Yeah, I'm down. You know, I used to work at TJ Maxx. Ooh. Actually? Yeah, pretty sick. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did, what was what was your discount? Yeah, I was just going to ask that, actually. Probably 15 per... I don't oh. even know if I had a discount. Damn. What? The only people that shopped there were old ladies at the time. <laughs> I, what? It's already I discounted. loved TJ Maxx. I know. Going there's I go there all the candles. The time. Yeah. I probably didn't even get a discount. I went into a Home Goods recently and I was like, this is kind of sick. Home Goods is amazing now. Yeah. The smells. Oh, so, so nice. many smells. It reminds me of home. It's so Midwest feeling in there. No, it's that's exactly what it is. It's like small town. Yes. Everything discounted. But also yes. it's still kind of expensive. Um, but I got some cute glassware, oh. um, which I'm very excited about. I have not yet used them. I hope those stores never go out of business. I feel like they're next up. Because <gasps> of like online yeah. retail? Yeah, like the Bed Bath & Beyond just closed. What do you think they're going to put in that space? I don't know. And did you I see told what... TJ, I was like, you should throw an... <laughs> I was like, you should throw an emo night at the abandoned <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> Can he? <laughs> like, that would be so sick. That'd be a sick rave. <laughs> I know. Personally, I hope they just build more apartments there. <laughs> really? Oh, no. so you're so right. They're probably gonna. Landlords, let's go. It's a big space. It like, is. that's fucking huge. Like, maybe it'll be like a Target or something. That I wish. We don't I have fucking... any Targets over here. No, no. Just like in Sherman Oaks. Basically Van Nuys. Right. In North On Hollywood. Sepulveda. TJ texted you back. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. We have a leak for emo we night. We have Craig Owens. Oh. From Cheetos. Mm-hmm. That's cool. He, it, I've met him like a handful of times briefly. Like I do not know him well. Every time. He's like the nicest man. Just a sweetie angel. Um, and then he said Ashton from Five Sauce. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you could come meet him, get him on your pod. I, yeah. I volunteered with him the other day. <gasps> you did? What yeah. did you do? At the food bank. What kind of food bank? Where was it? Uh, it was pretty far. It was like an hour and a half away. Oh, whoa. Damn. Yeah. So you're going to come? That's so random that you were both I there. Want to. I would love okay, to. Come. come. Okay. Let me know. I'll just, I'll say put him on the list. Oh, and Marco from Sugar Cult, also an angel. One of my favorite bands, the lead singer, Tim Pagnotti and I have the same birthday. Damn. Marco would 1000% come on your podcast. Wait, is he a producer now? I have no idea. Uh-huh. It's like everyone he likes. Yeah. I was with Derek on Friday from State Champs. I want to go golfing with him. And he, yeah, yeah, no, he brought, he brought, that, brought up. that up. Oh, I should hit him up. He was like, Joe is so nice. He was like, he had, it was such a good interview. He's like, I don't really do podcasts, but he was like, it, he was great. Oh, that's sick. So. Yeah, we had games we play on over here. Angel. So cool. How saw you, him. You saw him. How was he? Yeah, so good. Ooh. I can't wait to go to the show in April because he only had to play like four songs. For a Fall Out Boy? Mm-hmm. As the opener. Yeah, it was them, and then Hot Mulligan, then Jimmy Eat World, then Fall Out Boy. Oof. And I went- Wasn't the main there? No, they did the West Coast leg. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um. However, I got there at six o'clock so that I could watch games we play, and then I didn't care about like anything until <laughs> Fall Out Boy. Uh, and I stayed there for so long for you, Edmund. How is Fall Out Boy live? They're, I mean, they're really good, but I was saying it on our podcast, and they just like- it seems like they're just there to do it now. You know what I mean? Uh, I also think it's really hard to go from like watching a Taylor Swift <laughs> to then like another artist. <laughs> well, I remember we, I think we saw One Direction before we saw Taylor Swift, right? 1989 tour. Yes. We saw One Direction and then we saw Taylor Swift and I was like, damn. I mean, what, we love One Direction, but it was just like all they're doing just run around the stage. Yeah. But, like Taylor Swift is like every song is a fucking no, music totally. video down to a T of like yeah. choreography. Yeah, and- like Fall Out Boy, they just like stay yeah. in the same spot on the stage for the whole time, basically. But like Emin, he's running around, like getting the crowd involved and stuff. So it's definitely like a difference. I don't he's think not jaded necessarily, yet. <laughs> yeah, like a bad thing. Of course, they're older. Like if I was fall up boy people's age i'd be like get me a fucking stool yeah like, like, let, me I'm sit. Not let me sit and perform two hours. bring my bed on stage yeah. <laughs> he's really building an audience too emin yeah yeah i remember the tiktok that blew up like i feel like we saw it like when he first posted it and yeah. then i was like oh my god it's huge and then he, i told he blew the fuck up i told his i'm pretty sure it's his manager i was like i discovered him before you did <laughs> I was drunk <laughs> in like the friends and family room and it was like literally my first time meeting him and he was like, okay. <laughs> you found him from TikTok too? Yeah. I literally found, saw the TikTok and I told TJ, I was like, you got to get this guy. Like he's going to blow up. This is so good. Like it's so peak, like 2004, yeah. 2005 emo nostalgia, just like the way that the song was written, it sounded, and I loved it so much. And I feel like I haven't heard something like that in such a long time. I told TJ, he immediately reached out to him. And then like a little bit of drama happened because he blew the fuck up. And the person who had worked for him at the time was kind of like, oh, like he's too big now. He can't come to Emo Night. Um, And so then he didn't go to Emo Night, but Emin wound up going to Emo Night anyway. Um, But now he has like new management and all as well. And he came to Emo Night in New York and did it there and it was really fun. Do you like Neck Deep's new album? I do. I think it's really good. So good. I love Neck Deep. There's a song on um, the New Games We Play album that reminds, uh, Round and Round. Yes. It sounds like a Neck Deep song. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. I'll play it when we go to do the mukbang. Pazuki. I'll play the, my friend has a new song that just came out and I love it. Oh, it John? sounds like, yeah, it sounds like the starting line or like. What's the bit? North. Northbound? Northbound. I think you would fucking love this band. Yeah. I feel like I've seen them on TikTok. Probably. He's yeah. great. It's like, it's just him, but. And another great. sweetie. He's such a sweetie. You would really like him. You should probably interview him <laughs> if you like his music. Does he live around here? Yeah. They live really, it, he lives with um, Emma. Like oh, they're, okay. they're roommates. Yeah. 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 And they were roommates. And they were roommates. Guess who I have coming over on Thursday. <gasps> Hmm. Hmm. Get, let's do 20 questions yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. guys this is a fun game we play with joe and we never get we it right. never get it we're right. not even close ever <laughs> does it have to do with like wrestling mma no okay oh. music <laughs> like, now we have a chance yeah, yeah now we have a chance yeah. music <laughs> well i could get like a handful of the divas yes you can well they're not divas anymore so well and they'll never not be divas to me that middle one looks like heather from salt lake 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Um, is it a musician? No. Oh. A YouTuber? No. A TikToker? Nope. Um, a real housewife? A reality no. TV star? No. A, a chef? C- no. A CEO? No. <laughs> a CEO? More like a Cuban. poppy or something. <laughs> like huh? a poppy or something. Yeah, I tried getting her. Uh, the poppy exactly. girl? Yeah. You couldn't get her? Um, I don't think I emailed the right person. Okay, how many questions? Nine so far? Okay, mm-hmm. we only well, got... Well, how about you now at this point? No. Or is it a, a pre... Like uh, someone in the clergy? Like a priest? Yeah, like someone like that. The Pope? Yeah. My aunt's a nun. Do you want to have her on? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fly her in. What the hell? Athlete. Oh, my God. What? Who else is there? A, a regular person with no fame. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, why is it so... An we, actor? Oh. Yes. <gasps> why oh, was it God. such a weird yes? Drake Bell. No. Oh. Why is it such a weird yes? Because... They're not a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. The... Uh, they're a, technically they're an actor. Technically, why? well, what's the other part of them that's technically not an actor? It's not reality TV. He said they're not on screen. Oh, voice, voice actor. actor. Yes, <gasps> the SpongeBob guy. No, Patrick guy. No. Oh, you did tell me, and yeah, okay. S- are they on SpongeBob? Yes. Yeah. Sandy? Yes! <laughs> wow! Is it a male or female? Her name's Carolyn. Okay, cool. Yeah. <gasps> Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks? Oh, that's fun. So excited to talk to her. And she was also Cindy Vortex on Jimmy Neutron. Fun. So sick. You should have the voice of Gary on. <laughs> you should have the voice of Millhouse from The Simpsons. He was so hot. Yeah, that was Carly's first sexual awakening. Was Millhouse. Millhouse is hot or the actor is hot? Millhouse. The, the <laughs> That's who you were turned on by? <laughs> yeah. Are okay, I wouldn't say turned on. That's disgusting. No, I was yeah, seven she years told old. me her panties were wet. Ew, no. I was just like, he's so cute. Can Millhouse you, was your this? childhood crush? I'm like... <laughs> No, it tracks. He's like a weird little freak. We like the weird little freak. Uh, was he like, oh, well. What yeah, was he he's on The a Simpsons? Nerd. Yes. I like that his name is Millhouse. I know. What he's do you so, think the origin is? He's so is? innocent. What are you going to ask Sandy? Everything. She's been on the same show for the past 20 years. And they're still, still coming out. They're still going, yeah. Do they what? sound the same? Uh, yeah. They're all just old. <laughs> I think they sound, she sounds pretty similar to her character. I did not know it was still airing. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Sandy, Sandy Cheeks. I don't know who yeah, that is. Yeah, Carly didn't watch SpongeBob. I don't know celebrities. <laughs> That's insane you never watched SpongeBob. I remember when it first debuted. I saw a TikTok or something that made me chuckle. It was like, Sandy, how come you don't take your helmet off in your own home? Because you know she always has her Because she's a squirrel and she lives underwater. She does take it off in her home. Does she? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I, I brushed up. <laughs> If Sandy there's one Cheeks. thing about Joe, he's good at doing his research. He's going to brush up. It's really funny when uh, Caitlin's trying to talk to me. I'm like, hey, I'm trying to work right now. And I'm just sitting there watching Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Andy probably when he watches the ladies. Yes. <laughs> Ugh, that, I mean, I guess it's like half of our job because we talk about it. But like not technically. Like Andy Cohen has to watch all of the housewives so he can like. You know, do his research like you do and then interview all the people. However, I am still writing it off on my taxes. <laughs> Oh, your cable? Yeah. Of course. It's yeah. research. It, we have to, it's yeah. part of our job. We talk about Vanderpump Rules. You don't do that? I'm just realizing how you guys are sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you not write off your cable? I think I do. Yeah, you should write off everything. Yeah. Write any, off watch your movies. music, movies, Anything cable. pop culture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I saw uh, King Kong. Your versus... mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> mortgage. Well, you I... can write off this room. Yeah. Uh, this what? This room. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Are you caught up on Vanderpump? No. I, I gave up. Did oh you my see God. the reunion looks? No. Should we react to them? Reunion looks just came out. Share them. Okay. Um, you want me to send you a screenshot? Yeah. Send a screenshot of all of them to me and Carl. Okay. <laughs> and we'll go through and you have to say what you like. <laughs> Joe <laughs> and Carly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Initial, should we go through individually? Top left? Yeah. Down. First off, we have our fan favorite, Katie. Love. She's either fan favorite or fan hated. It's crazy. Yeah, it's I don't so think split. there's middle ground. It's so split. Why are people so polarized about it? Because people think that she's mean, but I just think that she doesn't like sugarcoat things. I didn't think she was mean at all. She's pretty just like to the point. She doesn't bullshit. 
Yeah, but you also haven't watched the whole show. Right. I don't. I only know her from two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Joe. Um, I. Oh God. I like this. It's giving space. I love it. I'm not. I love Katie a lot. I have come around to Katie. Does she hire a publicist for this? Uh, a PR address? A stylist? Maybe. Stylist. Probably. Um, it looks really good. I'm Her style, I feel like, is like she's coming into her own style. Yeah. So there's been a lot of like figuring out the things that she likes and doesn't like. Um, however, she looks so fucking beautiful and hot. I do. Like feel... literally, I'm like, maybe I'm gay. <laughs> I feel like looks wise, she's at her peak right now. Yes. Like, she looks amazing. Yes. She's in her revenge era. Yeah. Literally. Next, next up. Ariana. Well, this looks like a Britney Spears. I mean, I guess that kind of works for her um, yeah. dance on Dancing with the Stars. But this looks like Britney Spears like music video. I feel like they all really came into their own. Whoever dresses her does an incredible job. Ariana is by far the like best oh, no. dressed. Oh, no. Lala. She does look like she's a bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. <laughs> Were people saying that? Well, this Aaron looks, told me that, and I was like, "This is so ugly." I don't think it's an ugly dress. I just don't like it for a reunion. I don't think it's bad. Well, you're a boy. But well, yeah. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're Carly, <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? You're just really nice. No, I don't. No, think I'm she, being. I'm know, saying my honest opinion. Um, I don't think it's bad. Like a, it's like a spring dress. It's like a bridesmaid's dress. No, no. Yeah, I will die on that hill. I think it looks like a bridesmaid's dress for sure. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Guys, I don't care. No, boring. Sheena. Sheena. Sheena this is like the most Sheena dress. It I just think it looks, looks like Sheena. Just good as gold. She, it's got the gold. She will uh, guaranteed make a comment about being good as gold. 100%. Wearing this dress. And then the sequence. A <laughs> sequence is a Sheena signature. I think she looks really beautiful. Tom Sandy, looking fresh as ever. Love the green. Um. Yeah, the Toms look fine i don't know boys Tom's are just boring Jones looks terrible you think i hate his outfit oh i feel like it's gonna give it grandpa Kate. yeah like he looks not <laughs> but good. it looks like him yeah um i think james looks good yeah i like that he's wearing pink james looks like a tom ford model what do you mean i think he looks great he's wearing pink How he looks cute. amazing yeah oh yeah That's okay i thought you were saying bad look at that belt Ooh, Allie, i like Allie's for her i don't think i would wear this dress but i like that on her oh i didn't get Allie's. it looks a lot like something oh. Allie would wear for yeah sure Wait, what's this other picture? That's Joe. <laughs> Wait, looks, that's Tom. This is Allie again. She looks like a tarot card. Yeah, what the hell is Joe wearing? That's Tom's girl. Yeah, this like just looks like something Joe would wear. It's hideous. <laughs> it's crazy, but you know what? Top two off, for me, Katie and Ariana. They're my top two on the season. Top two dressed. No, I'm gonna go James and Sheena. Wow. Okay. I think. I like Katie's and I think Allie just because I love her so much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe James also. I love his outfit. Yeah, I just didn't include the boys. I really wish you guys watched Bachelor. Well, I wish you watched all of Vanderpump. Yeah. I'm catching up. And the thing is, like, when I could watch Bachelor. When was the last time you watched an episode? Tuesday of episode two. Oh, <laughs> My no, God. episode three. Well, so actually, you got to get caught up because the reunion is about to be buck wild. Yeah, buck wild. What was the crazy tea that happened this season? We, we don't know yet. What do you mean? Nothing really crazy happened this season. I well, thought. Well, they're just—it's just like it's the like, aftermath of Scandal. Everyone kind of like now. I mean, if you were to watch the show all the way through, you would be like, "Hold this season's crazy," just because it's like everyone's being tested and it's like real. Mm -hmm. I think. So you, the reunions are usually like three weeks, part one, part two, part three, and part three is always the craziest. So like just like, give it to us for three hours. But sometimes straight. they do give us good stuff early. at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. What's the update on Katie's uh, sandwich shop? Um, <laughs> I nothing. No, I no, she did say something recently. I can't remember what I was watching, but I think that they said it's supposed to open pretty soon. I just, I, I just, just like heard it on that. something. Yeah, but th I feel like she wouldn't say that if they didn't get the city stuff figured out. Like, I think she was, like, the summer or something like that. Do people ever think if you guys are dating? Yeah. yeah. That's why our podcast is called Only Friends. 
<laughs> she's married and people still think that we're yeah. like, together Pe- we i don't know why put out <laughs> our like wedding video and like half the comments were like wait i thought they were i together. thought carly and aaron were together oh so everyone as thought- if we hadn't been posting wedding content for like a year for <laughs> like three years at that point <laughs> yeah <laughs> the whole time Thanks, pandemic. Just I was getting married to you uh, i'm guys- just heartbroken wait yeah you're marrying him do you guys think you'd be a good couple hmm well, we're girls. I don't like girls. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. No, I'm not like in a, I only hang out with boys, but I mean like, yeah. I don't want to date a woman. Uh huh. But I don't know. Well, I feel like we have like a partnership now. Yeah. We're domestic. Yeah. Called? At this point. A domestic like, partnership. Domestic partnership. What is that? 10 years? Mm-hmm. We have to like live together, I think. Well, we did for four. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> are you guys shocked that you guys are still going? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Just like YouTube, I think. Yeah. I no, mean, I meant I, like the, the, the partnership you guys are still together oh no i'm not like shocked by that duo. oh no. no i'm not shocked by that i'm shocked that we're still doing youtube i'm not shocked that we're doing like podcasting and stuff i think that's like very on par for what we should be doing right yeah now. yeah we're it's, just old now you know well just to have a business with a partner how was your pod- podcast started though like under like were you like let's just do this and he was like okay with Ilya, want, he wanted to do it. He was like, I want to make a podcast. Damn, and now you're just still doing it. Ilya was begging me to do a podcast. <laughs> and I said, I didn't want to do it because okay, I didn't want to spread myself too thin. Is Are you being for real with me right now? Dead serious. Okay. There's videos That's of- That's so interesting. He would come on my mukbangs and ask me to do a podcast together. Oh, and, wow. And I said, I don't think it would work because my mukbangs basically were a podcast. So for me to do a podcast, uh-huh. it didn't feel natural. That makes sense. And then- wow. He convinced and then he quit. And, and now look at you. <laughs> he gave me two years. He did. He did. Okay. We did do it for a long time. How many episodes did you have together? Like 150. Okay. That's a good run. Wow. Totally. Yeah. That's when we're stopping. Two, uh, two more. <laughs> <laughs> two more weeks. <laughs> so you guys are done after this. We yeah. only had 150 episodes. Uh, this was 100. Tomorrow will be 148. Oh my God. You guys are breaking up. Yep. That's weird. I'm we telling started you started in 2021. Mm-hmm. One a week. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. And two bonus episodes on our Patreon, patreon.com slash OnlyFriends. So many episodes. So many bonus episodes, and they're so fun. Joe's actually on one of them. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we said in that video, leave an emoji of a chicken tender on my page, <laughs> and people just started leaving it. And I'm oh, like, why forgot. the fuck are people commenting a chicken on my page? We told people in our latest episode to leave snake emojis on Joe Biden's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, it needs to be like Tan on Brooke yeah. saying this, so like it'll actually have work. like a bigger pull but like for the white house to be like what's going on yes. like oh my god but it can't be someone so big People like joe snakes. rogan <laughs> yeah yeah like, it works with like a mac because he's not getting like ten thousand comments yeah you yeah know? but like if if a joe rogan said it it would be like Uh-oh. biden would know about it what no, did he might... say like the off the intern yeah for instagram is like what did this num not say can everyone go to mike sheffer's page right now and leave a snake emoji he'll know he'll know Mike's too. He also probably wouldn't care. And his phone's in black and white. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> his phone's in black and his white. His phone is in black and white, Joe. It is insanely aggravating. Yeah. Why? Because it it takes he's away Mike. the It's like the sensory of it all. You t- are addicted to your phone because of bright colors and it stimulates your whatever. And he puts it in black and white during the day. I guess he's always doing like some new thing. Which on I, his I phone. like that about Mike. Yeah. I like that he's like he tries out here trying stuff. Interesting. TJ yeah. does it too. His is on red. Wait, really? So I, once the sun goes down, he changes it to r- oh, like red night light. Mode? No, like red. The color Whoa. red. Uh-huh. For what reason? Helps your eyes? Yeah. Does it, he even do, has do like red glasses? Look hard. Yeah, to look it looks at? off. It hurts my eyes. No, I'd rather. And just... it's a little scary. <laughs> it's red. Like it just looks like a demon on his side of the bed. I'm like, oh. You guys go to Godzilla vs King Kong the other day. Absolutely is that a movie? Not Joe. I've I had I've been on the ride at Universal many times, but that's they it. put out a movie. Yeah, it's really it was not good. Oh no! It was like a four point four out of five. Out of ten. Ten. Damn. I feel like they're just like putting movies out to put them out. I don't understand why they missed the mark so hard. They're just not talented. That's really it. We need more AI. More AI, for nope. sure. Uh, I probably should say it. well. I might get arrested, but I bought some chocolate mushrooms and I'd put my ID on this website and I'm just waiting for like a cop to show up at my door. But it's the same one TJ uses. I think it's fine. So TJ, if I get in trouble, TJ's getting in trouble. TJ doesn't get mushrooms. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. Nice. He doesn't get any mushrooms. Are we not supposed to say that? I think like? it's one thing <laughs> to incriminate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but sorry. to incriminate another person? No, I think it's fine. <laughs> Are you building an ADU now? 
Yeah. How's that going? She's doing it herself. They start next week. We had someone come over. TJ ordered a shed so we can transfer stuff from our current garage into the shed. Because it's like storage right now. And then from the shed back to the new ADU? No, it'll just live in the shed. Got it. Otherwise, we would have just put it in a storage unit. It's a whole thing. But so some guy came over yesterday to build it and then was there for like four hours and couldn't do it. Oh, he couldn't do it? So he had to come back today with <gasps> another guy. Oh my God. And then do you have gonna... to pay him for that? I don't really know. I'm sure. You have to pay him for his time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's, it'll all be figured out. Um, but it was, he put together like all of the parts. So it was just like then putting it on the base that he needed somebody else to do. And like... TJ was trying to help him, but he was like, I'm just going to come back. Weren't you and TJ going to do it together? No. Oh, no. I immediately was like, I'm not oh, building this. Okay. Like, not a fucking chance in hell. Oh, I thought you guys were originally going to. I'm like, lol. No, not <laughs> like, me. I told, I was like, I'm not building it. And yeah. he was like, I'm going to hire a task rabbit. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Would you guys, what are you putting in the ADU? We're going to put our podcast studio in there. You're building it just for you guys? Well, no. Oh. It's also, well, you can explain. It's like going to be like a living space. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, no one will be able to really stay in there if we have the but podcast. But if they like sell the house, it's like, oh, and we have. Which we never will because of our interest rate. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Please um, don't. But yeah, like if we were to buy a different property and then oh, rent out yeah. our house, we could then rent out the front house and then the back house. And it would be like two. We're the landlords that income. everyone hates. <laughs> yeah. Gen yeah. Z hates them. But it's crazy. Like we tried renovating our house and like we were almost a year into waiting from the city for plans to be yeah, approved and then at that point we were like this is just like not fully what we want it to be like this isn't going to be our dream home like why are we going to put all this money into it and then the ADU got approved in like two and a half three months because the city doesn't have housing for people so they are really prioritizing people building ADUs to provide housing for provide people. podcast studios <laughs> correct <laughs> is that considered a tax write-off too I don't know. well uh, it will be for us or for you I don't really know are you guys going to change the... Are you Whoa. guys going to... Yeah, what the heck was that? <laughs> Did your helium wear off? The are fuck? you guys going to change the podcast to be... <laughs> having, like, uh, multiple angles now? I don't know, I think. Yeah. I think so. I want to do a little test run at some point before we actually do it because I have no idea how long it'll take me to, like... I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. I mean, you do it. Mike does it. So I'm kind of curious, like, how long that takes. You should do it. Because normally we record and I immediately just sync it and then upload it to, like, Patreon. So it's, like, a very quick thing. But I think it'll be fine if I use, like, Autopod or something. I think you should do it. Do you think that we only two angles or do we need three? You just need two. Okay. Just one extra camera. There's never going to be a... We never need an angle of, like, us open like this. I never really use it. Yeah. As long as you have the two cameras working, then I think you should be fine. You guys read a lot of the Am I the Assholes? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to read us one? Well, I came across one, but I feel like it's so obvious that she's not the asshole. Well, sometimes those are good ones, though, because it's so crazy. And maybe you think that. Yeah. I don't. And I don't, we don't. If we don't agree on this one, I think there's something seriously wrong with us. Okay. Am I the asshole for slapping my husband after he confessed to cheating on me? No. Am I the asshole for slapping my husband after he confessed to cheating on me? Okay, so far, no. I, 24 female, came home after a long day at work. My husband, 32 male, had made us dinner, which he rarely does. After dinner, he cleaned up and did the dishes. I was surprised since this isn't something usually done without me having to ask for it. I jokingly, I jokingly asked if something was up and he hesitated before answering. He confessed to cheating on me with a co-worker. I was completely shocked. It felt like my world shattered into a million pieces. I asked him how long it had been going on. He said it had been going on for a couple months. They've been seeing each other on and off. And as if things couldn't get any worse, he added that she might be pregnant. <laughs> That's when I lost it. My whole world my whole world was spinning and I suddenly felt this rage come over me. I slapped him across the face and called him every name in the book. I told him to take his stuff and get out of the house. He left and had been staying at his parents' house. His mother has been blowing up my phone asking me to talk things out with her son. Telling me how wrong it was for me to slap him and how heartbroken her son is over the situation. Classic mom. I haven't responded yet since I haven't been able to gather my thoughts yet. This whole situation just feels surreal to me. I can't believe the man I plan to spend the rest of my life with betrayed me like this. Was I wrong for how I reacted? I think the nicest thing she could have done was slap him. Yeah. That was um, a nice thing to do. Yeah. I would have literally she taken an, the knife he was using to cook, put his balls up on the cutting board, and chopped him right off. 
and, and then, then said, them. have fun getting anyone else pregnant. And then cook them and then feed it to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a slap is so uncalled for. No. no are I'm you kidding. fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay. I was like, are you kidding? Like, how do you expect her not to be upset? 100%. I would expect to be slapped like, if I was the guy. How fucking annoying is his mom? I mean, maybe that's like domestic violence and people will be mad that we're saying that's fine. Oh, they but probably will. I don't really care. I feel like he traumatized her, so. He can handle a little slap. <laughs> he emotionally slapped her. Yes. And then she physically did. For and which, were, which is worse. Emotion. Someone yeah. said you should get a lawyer and get an STD test. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, obviously. Uh-huh. Wait, why the lawyer? For the divorce? Yeah. You should uh. always get a lawyer because I think it's whoever files first gets something specific. I'm not really sure. But it's like if you're the first one to file, it's like in your favor or something like that. I can't really remember the... Interesting. But yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. For me to look it up. Well, this is why sure. people shouldn't sleep with their coworkers when they're married, or anyone when they're married, or specifically, not married. how about your coworkers? <laughs> yeah, your coworkers specifically. <laughs> <laughs> the guy at the gas station. <laughs> Fine. Wow, you sound just like Addison. I know, I did. That was really good. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit up Charlie XCX. Be like, bitch, I can scream too. You want to see the sweater I crocheted? Sure. Okay. Oh, she I'm, brought it. I am aware that like most people have seen this and it's overkill, but Joe hasn't seen it, and I just think his reaction will be funny. And okay. he requested it. And he requested it. I'm going to uh, preface this by saying I have not been crocheting for very long. I have actually made cute things. This thing, not so much. It. I knew halfway in it was going to be bad. I meant to follow up. Have you, you know, done anything since? I'm working on a blanket. It's just taking a really long time. Perfect. Does it fit a full size human body? Um, no. You'll see. <laughs> like, I don't even, never mind. I'm not going to say what I was going to. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to fit a mug. <laughs> like a little cup. Uh, you'll see. Um, let me get it. It'll, like, the, it'll, it'll, the torso part could fit someone. A small baby. The arms, like, you have to be, like, seven and under. <laughs> How do you do this? You just wing it. Well, I was <laughs> she closes her eyes. I, yeah, it was like I close my eyes. Says a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I was following this YouTube tutorial, and Joe, you got to see the, the sweater this girl made. You got to see what? Should I show him first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll show, show you a picture first. first of what. At what point did you realize it wasn't looking the same? Um, pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Carly like saw a YouTube tutorial on YouTube of a sweater. She tried to, you know, get the same fabric. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. And crochet like the same sweater. It's not the same. Okay, so <laughs> this is the inspo. Beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Looks yeah. like you could sell it at a uh, Walgreens. I would no. Free people. I would wear that. This is from Free People for yeah. sure. Sheesh. Um and mine <laughs> Did you buy you not, bought the same coloring? No. The thing is <laughs> She tried. Aaron. Um, oh my god, queen. She was like, it works. It looks great when it's like an ombre yarn. And so I got an ombre yarn, but I didn't realize that the one she has is like color, 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 color. Like it's like very, it ombre. like changes every like, you know, couple crochets. Mine was like a fucking khaki brown for the front half of the whole thing. Like it's ugly as fuck. Are you ready? Do you want to close your eyes for a second sure. so I can get it all situated? Please sure, don't sure, look. Sure. <laughs> Also, one of the arms is falling off. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Seeing it in person is so much better. I know. All right, Joe, you can open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's from Jeepers Creepers. Like it's, it looks haunted. It looks like a horror movie. It looks like... Oh, my God. But, like, this color is... Like, the stitching is good, you have I to admit. I like, can't even get my hand. I know. I fucked up, and I made the... I, when I put the sleeves on, I did it too tight. You can't even get your arms through. Like it's terrible. Wait, also, I... Carly measured. <laughs> you said the girl told you this. Yeah, the girl lied. She was like, "Measure around your wrist, and that will be the the whole arm." The whole arm. Have you worn it yet? No, I can't even put, put it on. on. You can... can't even fit. Should I try? I have a shirt on under this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no way. I mean, I could probably get like the torso on. Yeah, but like not your arms. You should at reach. All. Out. You should reach out to celebrities and to offer to make them it. stuff for the no, carpet. We, we have said like if. Like, imagine this in a frame, like this, yeah. in someone's home. You'd be like, oh, that person's rich, and like this is from art. a Victorian era in I war. told her that I want her to bring like a bag of clothes to Crossroads and put that in the bag and try <laughs> to sell it to them, <laughs> just to see their reaction. This is your first time putting it on? Maybe I should rip the... No, no, no! The I like, can't get my hand, my arms through the sleeves. I know. I just don't, don't ruin it. <laughs> yeah, don't ruin it. <laughs> don't ruin this masterpiece. Yes! It kind of is a masterpiece at this point. Okay. I'm just going to do this. Oh, no. Oh. What? Well, if it's your head, it's like a balaclava. 
Just wear it like a balaclava. What the hell? I look like it. I look like Pennywise with this here. <laughs> this is as far as it goes, y'all. <laughs> I tried it on. It's so bad. It's so bad. Did you start a new one yet? Not yet. I needed a full break. Can I see? <laughs> I'm making a blanket that's taking forever, but um, I'll definitely use it a lot. So I'm going to... I'm going to do better next time. It looks Pennsylvania Dutch. I will Dutch. be redeeming myself. Yeah, it Mark is my words. giving pen, Penny Dutch. Penny Dutch. Penny like a new age Penny Dutch. You should give it to, um, to Caitlin as a joke. <laughs> should you I? Should be like, this is, yeah, I this got is, it at Free People. This is the new Skims. <laughs> Wait, can I say that? <laughs> yes. I went to Free People. The is Skims Pennywise campaign. <laughs> Does it look designer at all? No. Yeah. Yes, it is. It looks so designer. It looks like okay, but if you told me like, oh, the Balenciaga people walk down the aisle with this, I'd be like, yeah, of course. That's very you know what I mean? like easy. Like it's not cute, but yeah, it's like Kanye's line. I don't know. Can I give this to her? Yeah, but I need it back. I'll give it back. Okay. <laughs> I gotta find a bag that I can put it in. That yeah, find is, a Prada bag. You gotta record it. <laughs> okay. But she may have seen it because I've like posted it a couple times. She does know you crochet. Yeah, so maybe she's seen it already. We'll be like, like I Carly. hired Carly to make this for you. Do you like it? Okay, don't do that. I picked, <laughs> I picked out the color. Her rate's so high, but you're worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was either between this or a Cartier ring. And you already and I picked this. Uh, you already got a wedding ring. Like, I figured yeah. you wouldn't yeah. want another Cartier ring. And this ring. is art. Art's deeper than it's clothes. so <laughs> art. And Carly was so excited. You should have seen her face giving so it to excited. me. <laughs> I was crying because I wanted it actually for myself. This is itching me. Do you think I can do oh, this? Oh, God. Out? We get it. You got your blood taken. <laughs> Do you want my bloody cotton swoop ball? Yeah, can I have it? Yeah. Was that for your doctor? No, don't throw it at me. Well, you just said you wanted it. It was Joshin. No, it was me. I took her blood before we got here. Mm. Just to make sure. God, it's like itching. Did you watch Yellowstone? Yeah. What'd you think? I love Yellowstone. Me too. I'm a Yellowstoner. I'm a huge me fan. Too. <laughs> Did you watch the prequels? Uh, like 1883 i started watching 1883 but then i was hung over the day i started watching it forever ago and never finished it there was another one though 1923 i watched the one with tim mcgraw oh okay which one's that there is a sec that's 18 i think 19 is with harrison ford i did not watch harry but that one i think won like awards yeah that one's pretty good we said we were gonna watch them no i watched all of yellowstone and now i'm finishing 1923 Okay. Well, you should watch I Vanderpump don't think Rules. 1923 was out when 1883 came out. No, 1883 came first. Okay. I'll get Botox with you guys if you want to. Can you reach out to someone? Sure. Because like, they'll they'll answer a guy. Yes. What do What do you guys want? Botox. Zeoman. I want Zeoman. On your forehead? Yeah, and my crow's feet. And buccal fat removal and a BBL. I need a BBL. Okay, so you need a BBL, a buccal fat removal. Uh, actually, just Zeoman, like Zeoman on my Oh, sh have you ever gotten it before? Yeah. yeah. And why we don't you get any more? We don't have enough followers anymore. <sighs> That's not true. <laughs> they I just hate how about you reach out? Okay. I've already reached out twice. I'll say hey. Because they think I'm probably like a desperate little Well, we are wrinkled up. <laughs> you walk in and you're just like, I, <laughs> I crochet like, once I'll and I'm pay. <laughs> like I'll literally I'll message them and say, like, willing to pay. Hey, we'll pay. <laughs> we just really want the yeah. fucking photo. They won't even take you even if you're willing to pay. No, they we'll probably will. See. We oh. just like do an influencer thing usually where it's like we'll post updates of like the Zeoman working. And last time I reached out, they were like, we have a lot of influencers coming for like award season and Oscars and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, okay, that's fine. And then I reached out again and they were like, nope. not yet. So. Nope, you're still irrelevant. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Should I get it? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely You didn't even need look it. at me. You definitely need it. Where? My face? Take your Yeah, take your hat, hat off. off. Scowl. Go like this. Oh, oh yeah, that was messed up. Oh, wait, you you have like great elasticity. He has Look great at how, skin. Yeah. Do your um, no, don't do that. P do scrunch your eyes again. Look at how low down his eyebrows go. Maybe you could message him and be like our friend Joe and like say he like whatever like his page or something and be like he'll do a whole YouTube video. Yeah. Getting Botox with us. Okay. Because you would, right? Yeah, I think I think so. I think. I, like you wouldn't be embarrassed to tell the world you got Botox. Is it a bad thing? No. no. I think it's really normal, but there's like some guys they are so weird about it. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm the boy. I mean, it's, I feel like it's pretty obvious if one day I just got it because my <laughs> eyes just don't go like that anymore. Like you wouldn't see the crow's feet. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, I've think seen Think of how much better looking you'd be. Oh my God. You'd really look like Eminem. Yeah. Does Eminem probably gets Botox. 
Mm, probably not. I doubt it. He yeah. does seem like the Botox kind of guy. I'm not going to get but, it. But like maybe Jake Gyllenhaal does. You're not going to get it? If Jake gets it, I he get it. He does get yeah, it. He definitely 100%. gets it. He probably does Zeoman. I'm back They in. call Zeoman like the Gwyneth Paltrow of injectables. So it literally kicks in that night. Usually regular Botox takes like two weeks to fully kick in. Zeoman is like s- that night. What if I sleep weird and then it like ends it's up fine. in my... <laughs> no, it does, that doesn't happen. It does, it's fine. However, oh, I'm not going to tell him. It hurts? Um, no, it doesn't hurt. The active thing? Yeah. I think you can still go on like a walk. Oh, so. I can't go for to the gym for how long? <laughs> Two months. Shut up. <laughs> it's just no. that day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like, go after, after you, walk, after get, you get it done. Yeah. I'll go to the gym in the morning. And you can't lay yeah. down afterwards for four hours. Which is really hard for us. Yeah. Because after no. that, we are- we have to set a time. For- yeah. Like my friends, my, one of my friends always calls it life-altering surgery when yeah. she gets like Botox or like filler. <laughs> like I just had life-altering surgery. Kind of feels that way. You're kind of exhausted after. Yeah. Your forehead's a little like, you know, you're feeling it settle in and you're just full of excitement. And you're getting joy. excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm full of joy. When it's Botox day, I am like at my peak. Yeah. I'm at my peak. Nothing can stop me. I really just want to have like a Botox party. You know, Please. like I want someone to come to me. Please. And do it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tomorrow. Come tomorrow. Are Let's you do guys, it on Saturday. Did you guys see Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber? Where? Where? <laughs> might have a, might might have a split. Oh, I did see that. Although I don't know anything about it. I feel like this it. has been a rumor for a bit. It has been a rumor. I saw, got an, I saw like, a newer one. Ooh, yes. What's the tea? Well, because there was a rumor up? going yeah. around that she was dating a billionaire. That I didn't huh? hear. Just I saw that her dad made a comment to the press too. Yeah. Um I really like them together. Really? Yeah, when I hang out like when we're all going bowling together, they just seem like they <laughs> oh, really okay. got along. <laughs> Speaking of Diddy. Yeah. We don't we don't know what's going on. I mean, I've just been saying like if there's tons of evidence well, against Carly him, did break the news. I did. <laughs> you did break the news on TikTok. <laughs> okay. To me, <laughs> Can I say something? Joe's the one that encouraged me to do this. And he was like, I thought it was really good. And now that we're sitting here, you're making fun of me to my yeah, fucking you face. Are. Did I make fun of? You did. You're laughing at me. Laughing you're laughing at, you. at me. No, you because did. I forgot you're laughing that you, at me. I forgot that I don't was appreciate it. it. No, because Do you want your first walk off? I will walk off. Walk off. <laughs> That's not Mostly because I'm deeply insecure about the TikToks. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm deeply insecure because it doesn't feel like me. But I think you should keep doing those. I the thing is like I feel at my best when I feel like I'm being funny. Oh oh, oh. bye Aaron. Oh no. <laughs> oh what happened? Did it you just died. turned off. I was delivering such good content that I was like, I got it. I gotta turn it <laughs> content off. Content to fire got hot and turned <laughs> off. Why are you deeply insecure? I was a good friend. I fully supported you doing that. No, I know. I just, it wasn't me. I, like I was saying, I feel my, my best when I feel like I'm being funny and it was way, just way too serious. And when you're like, I feel like Carly doesn't make content to like have it do well and become like a star. Like she's making content because she genuinely enjoys it. Yeah. So but I also would like to do well. well no, of <laughs> that's why I would like, like to be a star. But then like when <laughs> you're doing stuff that like you feel uncomfortable doing, it's like, well, would you want to get big and then have right, that be right. like the only thing that exactly. you can really do? That's yeah. Cool. But, like, you love pop culture and, like, news and trendy stuff. That's why I thought it was so yeah, perfect Yeah, I think it would have been better if it was, like, a more silly subject. Like, something like, with, like not- Kylie Jenner doing something or So then do that whatever. for the next one. Like, Vanderpump's. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I didn't really, like, kind of want to delete it. But it's fine. It's up there. Is it doing well? It did okay. It did fine. No, didn't do like that at all. Because you basically did break the news. About I kind Diddy. of did. I literally saw it. it was a post like seconds ago. I was like, I'm just gonna do this one. <laughs> it, it came up on my FYP, and I mine, was like, okay, damn. Mine too. I think <laughs> that's, entertainment live. I know. <laughs> that's why I laughed because I didn't hear it from any other news source, <laughs> yeah. but I got it from you. I'm like, wait, okay, well, I did he got arrested? <laughs> I guess I did something right. <laughs> oh well, I no, I had like I knew that that was happening. No, but Carly it did broke come the news on, to me. That's very <laughs> funny. You. That's hilarious. I feel like no one breaks the news to Aaron. I feel like she always knows everything. <laughs> right away just chronically online <laughs> well and because like especially with vander like anything bravo like i'm in at least three different group chats so like yeah. it's always being sent to me twitter you gotta yeah. get all the news sources i don't send her i feel like i don't ever send you vanderpump stuff because i'm like she's definitely already seen this what's the group chat for good influences look like is this still just you guys figuring out your dates yeah and we're like silly goofy yeah we talked a lot last night in it i feel like yeah yeah who contributes the most to the chat? Yeah. Mm. The most? I don't know. Hard to say. 
I feel like it depends on the day, to be honest. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'll text a lot, or I won't. Sometimes Aaron won't respond. Sometimes Matt won't respond. Sometimes Mike won't a respond. A lot of the time. It's just the whole thing. Matt is, that- is like a, um, like a... A thumbs, thumbs up. Yes, person. yes. He's, He's like a reactor. A, what is it called? A, a reactor. reactor. Yeah. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> I'm becoming right that way in my old age, too. Yeah. I'm never Maybe once old. you get Botox, you'll go back. Hopefully. Maybe I'll be younger. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. We should get it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. This is I a need great it. plan. I literally need oh, it. thank God we can use Joe to get Botox. <laughs> 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 thank Just God. Just using men our whole lives. Yeah. So something that they're good for. I'm like, what other guy do we know that would get Botox? Well, Matt has talked about wanting it, but he would never. I, I don't think he would ever want to post it for some reason. Well, am I publicly saying that I want to do something in a bad way? No, no. it's just like the Matt just cares a lot about what people think. Yeah, it's just like a public like. TJ, I don't know. TJ, and Morgan both got it in one of our videos, they and loved they were posting it. it on their social media. Oh, okay. and they got it again with us. Yeah, and aren't they huge, famous worldwide DJs? They're literally yeah. Diplo's friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah, best friends. Okay, I'm in you, you know, dead. Oh, <gasps> why? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Do you that? think it's saving the footage? Yeah, I checked. Okay. It was still on there. Just ha- we can yeah, we can just both be one? in. We yeah. can share a mic. <laughs> Bring your go. mic. I'm, I'm just trying to get in the frame. Okay. I can't tell if I'm in it or not. You Should are. we go get Pazookis? Yeah, let's go get Pazookis. Oh, we're done already? I have to eat soon. Why is that one <laughs> overheating? This has never happened before. Uh, well, at least it's just camera, us. The camera woes. At least it's just us and you're not wasting a good guess. No, you guys are just important as everybody else. Oh, well, if not more important, right? More once we important. once we get you Botox, you'll really know what's up. And then I'll really know what's up. All right, let's. Are go we get... your favorite people? Yeah, we have to be. Yeah, you guys are up there. Who would be higher than us? <laughs> like in what way, Caitlin? Like okay, yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, Caitlin. I wouldn't even put Caitlin in the running. She's obviously yeah, be higher like, than us. Caitlin, your family. What about like girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are up there. Do you have any closer girlfriends? Who's upper? Probably not. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Good. Keep it that way. Done. But we also don't like hang out. Yeah, yeah. We do. but That's, I feel well. Joe, the like Joe doesn't <laughs> hang out. I really don't hang out. He's not a hang out. I don't really either. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Maybe we would be besties. But this we, like, is hanging out to me. Yeah. I agree. We got to monetize our conversation. Well, that's why I get anytime we have to leave. And I was like, ugh. I know. But let's just keep hanging. But that's why we're going to get pazookies. I that's do hanging love, out I too. I love your presence. Me, me too. too. I do. If your, you, Joe's presence is truly a, a present. present. If you guys wanted to go see Godzilla versus Kong, I don't. I would have invited you, but I know you don't want to. Oh, okay, to. okay. Yeah. You did invite me to the comedy store that one time. I did. So oh, wow. that's nice. Because I know you like the you like seeing stand up. I actually did I tell you the story how I got a little tour of the back? Yeah, crazy. So fun. Gorge. The I comedy want... store is like a very a very historic place for comedy. I just love it. Like there's Jerry Seinfeld started there, Rosie O'Donnell started there, all the big people started there and they're still there and they show up there and they do their little sets. I saw Dimitri Martin there, he showed up randomly it was do very they fun. have like a vidcon for comics because you should go to that i don't think so but i would love that hmm. i do wa- i want to try an open mic but i would not tell a soul i know you've said this to me before I know. you wouldn't tell us no I wouldn't what would tell your no material one. be <laughs> you wouldn't um, tell anyone not even Nolan. <laughs> well i feel like I'd i'm tell gonna it. go i'm gonna go get mcdonald's <laughs> that's why i can't get my location out <laughs> yeah. um i probably would tell him but i'd be like don't come obviously i think he would be like weird to come the first time anyway just because it's like I wouldn't yeah. want to be there for anyone. Give us a, a hot. A little... I don't have anything. Mm. I don't have anything. Something about. Crocheting. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just bring that on stage and just win it over. <laughs> but the thing is, I would never want it to be like a social media thing. Like, hey, guys, come to my, you know, it would be like. But what if you blow up? Then it becomes that. I guess. I don't want to blow up because I don't have to tour. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be gone every weekend. You could be the Diddy news breaking <laughs> comedian. I would have to, I'm yeah. gonna have to do Madison Madison Square Garden soon. That's so nerve wracking. I'm not gonna baby. do a, I'm not gonna do a open mic. I don't want to do Madison Square Garden. Maybe I'll just go straight to like a comedy special. <laughs> no, I don't want that either. <laughs> yeah, because then you can just like record one and then you're set. Yeah, but I feel like you're not respected by the other comics as much if you're not like touring and doing the oh, whole thing. Oh, well, you just skipped a few steps. They That's would then, then it would be like, jealousy's a disease, bitch. Get well soon. <laughs> I'm like a Nepo baby. Yeah. You're still in it. Don't worry. I don't understand why it did that. Are you stressed? Um, I'm bummed out. Where? Which place would you do an open mic at? I don't even know where they are. Oh. I know Comedy Store does them. Like, people can oh go God. to the Comedy Store, but... That would be like an iconic first. But I think it would be like, fine. I, obviously, I'd be really nervous, but like... Everyone there is doing an open mic, so like you're gonna be bad, you know? Yeah. So that kind of 
makes me feel better. But you I don't know have, if I, I don't even I know if I'll be good. Like I have no idea. So you just we'll have see. to be a little better than bad, and then you're good. Yeah, like even at the comedy store, I've seen people that I'm like, really. <laughs> I mean, for real, like I yeah. just, like I used to go all the time and there'd be people at like 1 a.m. that like people are leaving because they're so bad. And like, it's just, ooh. Did you ever get up and walk out of someone's set? Um, oh my not, God. Not in like a mean way, but definitely if it got like too late. Oh Uh-oh. my God. What's going on, guys? Internal temp too low. On ours too? Or is that one? That one. No, on the wide. Oh. <laughs> are we wow. like burning it's up? Is there a fire? In here. Is your house on fire? I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay, maybe we should end. It's the aliens. Because I'm scared. Tom Dong was right. Let's go get Pazookies. Okay. Okay, Pazookies. Pazookies. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Who else you want to see on? Leave a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. To us. To Carly and Aaron. They're going to be linked down below. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.